Today, automatic transmissions are composed of a torque converter and several multiplay clutches, multiplay brakes and band brakes. Furthermore, a revenue planetary gear set is used to provide more forward gear ratios than a simple planetary gear set. A revenue gear set is a double planetary gear set. It consists of a small sun gear that meshes with three gears that surround it like planets. The shaft of a large sun goes through the hollow shaft of the small sun. The outer planets couple with the large sun, the planets of the small sun and the ring gear. All planets of the transmission have a single planet carrier. With this kind of automatic transmission, five gear ratios can be achieved by locking and connecting components. In first gear, the small sun is driven by the torque converter, which is driven by the engine. The planet carrier is held still by a multiplate brake or one-way clutch, so it cannot rotate. The ring gear is connected to the output and drives the wheels of the car. In second gear, the planet carrier is no longer a fixed member of the system. Now it can rotate freely. However, the large sun is held stationary, so the large sun cannot rotate. But once again, the small sun is the input of the system and drives the ring gear. In third gear, a gear ratio of 1 is accomplished by locking all relevant parts of the planetary gear set. Now, the whole planetary gear set is rotating. In fourth gear, the planet carrier is the input. The large sun is held stationary and, again, the ring gear drives the wheels of the car. In reverse gear, the large sun serves as the input. As in first gear, the planet carrier is held stationary by a braking unit. The ring gear is the output. Now, let's have a quick look how multiply clutches can be used to change gears. Both clutch baskets are connected to and driven by the engine, always. When one of the multiply clutches is engaged, the mechanical energy produced by the engine is transmitted to the corresponding